Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for answering. How are you today? Como están hoy? Very well. Nice. Excellent. Good. What about the others? Alex, Jose, Helen, Ruben. How are you today? I'm pretty good teacher. Nice. Excellent. Okay, what's today's date? Tuesday. Tuesday, teacher. Yes, how do you spell Tuesday? How do you spell Tuesday? E U E S D A J. Why? Why? Uh huh. Lowercase or capital T? Capital T or lowercase? Capital T or lowercase? ¿Qué pregunto ahí? Si la T es mayúscula o minúscula. Excellent. Very good. Capital T or lowercase? Lower. Sure. Remember that days of the week in English are always capital. And the same thing happens with September, October, November, and months of the year. Yes. So they're always capital. All right. Uh, what month? What's the month? March. March. How do you spell March? M. How do you spell? Uh -huh. M A R C H. Very good. Capital M or lowercase? Capital M or lowercase? Mayúscula. Lowercase. Capital. 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 And what's the date? The date. 22. Okay. Do you say 22 or 22nd? 22nd. 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 Why 22nd? Why 22nd? Usted puede decir today is March 22 y le van a entender. But it's better if you use ordinal numbers. So what is the reason you need to use ordinal numbers for dates? Uh-huh. Water. Ok. Ya les he dado el ejemplo antes. Primero de diciembre. ¿Cuál es la fecha del siguiente día? En español. Segundo. Segundo. ¿Decimos segundo o decimos 2 de diciembre? 2 de, de diciembre. diciembre. Ajá. Diciembre. Primero de mayo. What is the date the following day? 2 de, do de, do de mayo. mayo. Right. In Spanish, only the first day of the month is ordinal. Primero de septiembre, al siguiente día decimos dos. Primero de enero, al siguiente día es dos. But English is different. English, every day is ordinal. Every day is ordinal. Yes. So today is March 22nd. Y recuerde que las fechas van acompañadas de dos letritas. ¿Cuáles son esas dos letritas? TH. Most of the time is TH. La mayoría de las veces es TH. Déjeme ver si puedo compartirles algo acá. Dice OK. Share screen. Tararán. Share. Vamos a ir acá. Ordinal numbers. Okay, give me a second. Let me see.
Teacher, you're in mute, teacher. Sorry, thank you. I was talking to myself. Uh, pay attention to fifth, nine, and twelve. ¿Por qué tiene que tener cuidado con el cinco, el nueve y el doce? A ver, analicen. Why do you have to be careful? Uh -huh. Los tres terminan en TH, pero si usted le pone atención, sufren ciertas modificaciones. Entonces, para T5, no lo va a convertir a ordinal solo poniéndole TH, sino que tiene que hacerle cierta modificación. What happens with number nine? ¿Qué pasa con el número nueve? What happens with number nine? What's the modification we need to make? Cambia. ¿Cómo cambia? No tiene la E, si no veo mal. Exactamente, no tiene la E. Entonces, para irse de cardinal a ordinal, usted vota la letra E y después le pone TH. What happens with 12? ¿Qué pasa con 12? Se elimina la V y la E. Oh. My children are going to sleep. Okay, so from 12 to 12, bota la VE y le pone una F y después termina en TH. Entonces, si usted se fija, las fechas van acompañadas de dos letritas. ¿De dónde salen esas dos letritas? Son las dos últimas letras de cómo se dice en ordinal. Entonces, no puede generalizar que son TH Sí son TH la mayoría, pero en algunas son ST. In other times it's ND, RD, and so on. All right. Questions or comments? So today so is... Today, the, today. Okay, alguien tiene que apagar su... Your speaker. Okay, so do you say 22 or 22nd? 22nd. 22nd. Very good. Let's teacher, yes. Teacher, y, 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 y en este caso, digamos, ¿en qué momento dejamos de decir eh, o dar las fechas en ordinal, en números ordinales? O sea, digamos, por ejemplo, mañana será 23rd. Exactly. Eh, eh, Hasta pero, que se termine el calendario. Pero está bien decir eh, 23 Sí, usted puede decir 23 and people will understand you, but the correct form is to use ordinal numbers. ¿Me explico? Yes, teacher. Todo el calendario yes. en inglés va en número ordinal. Todo el calendario. All right. All right, so let's begin. What topics did we cover yesterday? What topics did we cover yesterday? Can you hear me?
Can you hear me, people? Can you hear me, people? Yes, teacher. Turn off the light, please. Okay, what topics did we cover yesterday? Thank you. What topics did we cover yesterday? ¿Qué les pregunto ahí? ¿Cuál fueron los temas, temas que hablamos ayer? ayer. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the topics? Do you remember the topics? Mm -hmm. The use of simple present. Okay, what function? Because simple present has different function. What function did we cover yesterday? Yes, it was the simple present. For a special activities. Exactly, for special activities. Van a su trabajo, miran el horario y ven las personas responsables. Todo eso está en simple present. He says, oh, Francisco washes dishes today. Francisco washes dishes tomorrow. Carlos uh, opens the door at 8 a.m. So everything is in simple present for fixed schedules. Para horarios ya fijados. All right. Questions or comments? No. Can you see my book? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So now, uh, any questions about yesterday before we continue with today's topics? No. Um, in yesterday's conversation, we were speaking about adverse of frequency. And it says right here, adverse of frequency indicate how often an action takes place. ¿Para qué nos sirven los adverbios de frecuencia? Uh -huh. Ahí está la respuesta. ¿Qué tan seguido, qué tan frecuente una acción toma lugar? Do you go to the park? Sometimes. Do you go to church? Usually. Do you eat breakfast? Always. Uh, do you visit your family? Hardly ever. Excuse me? Somebody says something. I can do algo. Para hablar de los usamos a Ajá. ¿Para qué los ocupamos? Sí, no se vea porque ya no un tema específico. Can you move closer to the speaker? Se puede mover un poquito más cerca del micrófono, please. Who, who was answering? ¿Quién estaba respondiendo? Que se lo había cortado. Sí, de chat. Estaré un momento solo de oyente. Ok, Carmen. Ok, so uh, they indicate how frequent or how often an action takes place. So, let me send you an image. Give me a second. El libro les presenta siete, but there are more. And at this level, you should be familiar with uh, more adverse of frequency. Can you see the image that I sent to the WhatsApp chat? Can you see the image that I sent to the WhatsApp chat? Yes, teacher. Okay, so what do you see before the other frequency? 
what do you see before? ¿Qué está antes del adverbio de frecuencia? What's there? Uh -huh. Un pronombre. Antes. Hay unos números ahí. What do the numbers El represent? Ajá. Percentage. Percentage. Percent. Fíjese bien. Todos uh, son, son yeah. estimados. They're estimates. Their estimates. Subject teacher. Mm, before the adverb of frequency. Si usted se fija en el cuadrito, aparece el adverbio de frecuencia, pero antes, ¿qué es lo que hay? What's on the left side? Their numbers. Todos, todos son estimados. Their estimates. Excepto dos. ¿Cuáles son esos dos? Always and never. Never, never. Excellent. Always and never. Always is 100%. Always. Never is zero. Right? Always is el 100. Never is zero. De ahí todos los demás, they're estimates. Got it? Okay. Questions or comments? So look at the examples. We often change the menu. We always give away promotional items. They regularly select the new options. ¿Qué tan seguido cambian el menú? According to the examples. ¿Qué tan seguido? Always. Often. Ahí dicen, we often okay. change the menu. What's the meaning of often? What's the meaning of often? ¿Qué significa often? A menudo. A menudo. Seguido. Frecuente. Often. And please notice, when you say often, letter T is quiet. So you don't say often. You say often. Often. Okay, los que van en moto, please silence your microphone. Okay, we always give away promotional items. ¿Qué tan seguido dan artículos promocionales? Always. 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 And they regularly always. select the new options. ¿Qué tan seguido optan por las nuevas opciones? Regularly. Regular, regular, regularmente, regularmente estamos hablando regular. uh, frequent, frequent. Imagine that the restaurant is a good place and every time they present something new, it's good product. Entonces, así es como los restaurantes se dan la fama. Siempre que presentan algo nuevo, debería de ser bueno. Entonces la gente dice, es nuevo, probemos. Questions or comments? So far. No. Okay. I need a volunteer to read the instructions in part five, please. <clears throat> Write sentences. Uh -huh. At your workplace. Use the following adverb, adverbs of frequency to stay how often you do those activities. Thank you very much. Any questions about the instructions, people? Are we okay with the instructions? Entonces, nos están pidiendo que usted escriba una oración con cada uno de ellos. Related to what? Algo que siempre hace. Algo que rara vez hace. Seldom and rarely. And hardly ever. They are synonyms. Seldom. Rarely and hardly ever are synonyms. Los tres significan pocas veces. Rara vez, casi nunca. Sometimes, por veces, and never means nunca. 
Any questions about the meaning of these others of frequency? Excuse me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Juan Ricardo. Okay, somebody had a question? Vuelvo a repetir. Yes, Moises. What is the meaning? Rarely. Raramente. Rarely, seldom, and hardly ever are synonyms. They are synonyms. Seldom, rarely, and hardly ever. Questions or comments? So, usted va a escribir cualquier oración que sea cierta acerca de su lugar de trabajo. Usted dice, I am always on time. I seldom check my Facebook from work. I sometimes help other people. I never leave work early. I never leave work early. Questions or comments? Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Las escribe en su cuaderno. Claro, pues, y después las claro. pasamos al, al, al chat. Yes, uh, Juan Ricardo. No question. No questions. Como acaba de venir, no. <risa> no Estamos haciendo el ejercicio 5, Juan Ricardo. Ajá, del Manuel. Ajá. Bye. Yes, exercise 5. Yes, unit 2. Yes. Vamos a crear una oración con cada uno de esos adverbios de frecuencia. Ok. All right. Go ahead, people. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. How are Good. you? I'm doing okay. Thank God. Okay, we're thank doing God. we're doing exercise five. Can you see my book? Yes. Okay, we're doing exercise five. You have to create one sentence with each other of frequency. Oh about okay. activities that you do in your work. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Here and when you finish, you put them in the chat.
Very good, Kenya. Good examples. Thanks, teacher. Very good, Juan Ricardo. Good. Thank you. Do you work in a call center, Juan Ricardo? No, nope, teacher. I work at CSL. Come up. But we receive yes. international calls. I remember, yes. Yep. So I have two Juan Ricardos in the group, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Pueden ir escribiendo las que tienen listas, no tienen que hacer las seis. So, si tiene dos, ponga las dos, tiene tres, ponga tres y así. Let me check. In my company, never drink alcohol. I'm rarely late for work. Very good, Rafael. I never disrespect my coworkers. I always help my coworkers. I rarely have free time at work. Sometimes I'm late for work. I seldom leave work early. I hardly ever go on a business trip. Very good. Good, Iris. I always turn on my computer. Very good. Recuerde que el I siempre va con capital letters. He rarely collaborated in the warehouse. Good. What else? On time, rarely eat fish in my work. I hardly ever listen to music. Recuerde, I always capital letter. I hardly ever listen to music in my work. I never sleep in my work. Very good. Let me check. I always drive many mails to my workplace. What do you mean, Carlos? Carlos Mario? Sorry, it's a mile. Oh, okay. Many miles to my workplace. Very good. Sí. You go de, outside. The corrector de celular. <laughs> okay, good. You you go outside San Salvador. Abajo, mile. Perdón. You go outside San Salvador. Yes. Every day. All right. 
Okay, good. Every day I work in Para Central. Where do I you work? All the, all the, uh, I visit uh, the Para Central. Zona Para Central. Yeah, yeah, the Para Central area. Okay, good, very good. Yeah, yeah. All I the hope... countries around San Salvador. Okay, good, good, good. I always take a five minute coffee break at 2 p.m. I rarely deliver orders to pharmacies. Uh huh. I hardly ever leave the office. I seldom invoice an order. I sometimes work until 6 p.m. I never review the company's financial statements. Very good, Delmi. Okay, Miles, very good, Carlos. I always send reports to my boss. She, she rarely arrives late at work. Carlos hardly ever buys lunch. Nancy seldom changes her habits. Sometimes I prefer to do my dinner. I never do that. Okay, very good, Alex. Anybody else? Let's see. Give me a second. I always take data to measure the battle. Battle or bottle? A or O, Moises? I always take data or data to measure the bottles. Las botellas, verdad? Moises? I sometimes play games in my phone in my break. I sometimes go to workplace at six o'clock. Very good. Sometimes I'm late in liquidation promotional. I never eat at the right time. Very good, Helen. Let's see. We seldom work on weekends at the office. Very good. Uh, give me a second. I rarely arrive late to my work. I seldom listen to music in my work. I never drink coffee in the afternoon. I hardly ever turn on the AC. Sometimes I go the AC. Sometimes I don't go out for lunch. I don't go out for lunch. Good, Francisco. Envases, yes, bottles, bottles, B-O, B-O. Okay, anybody else, people? Good job, good job. Eh, observaciones pequeñas sobre la escritura, but it's, uh, it's good. Yes, bottles, Moises, very good. All right, questions or comments, people? No? Okay, let's take attendance. Please activate your camera. Para que Insafor diga, ahí estaban presentes con muchachos. Okay. Um, Ana Marcela, Ana Mercedes Amaya. Hello, Andre teacher. Okay, thank you. Andrea Vasquez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Carmen Galdames. Galdames o Calderón, teacher. Oh, Calderón, sorry. <laughs> Present, teacher. Thank you. Ver. Thank you for correcting me. Galdames, mi amor. <laughs> Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Juan Present, Ricardo Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank Present. you. Okay, Reina Martínez. Reina, Reina. Reina, are you present? Okay, Iris Cañas. Present. Good. Rafael Barrientos. Present. Good. Uh, Maricela Velázquez. Maricela. Okay, Moises Rodriguez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Helen Barraza. Yeah. Good. Ruben Campos. 
Present teacher. Good. Lisette Paz, I don't think she will come back. Uh, Noemi Vasquez. Noemi Vasquez. Elsa Merino. Elsa Merino. Judy Cuellar. Judy Cuellar. Carlos Avendaño. Okay. Los acabo de ver, pero se han levantado. Deberían de levantarse cuando estoy pasando lista. Uh, José Corea. Present. Good. Susana Jiménez. Susana, Susana. William Pérez. Present teacher. Good. Juan Delgado. Present teacher. Good. Kenia Ruiz. Kenia Ruiz. Thank you. Delmi Gomez. Present. Mm -hmm. Francisco Godinez. Present. Good. And Alex Martinez. Present teacher. Very good. Okay. Sorry, teacher. A mí me sacó un momento. Okay. Carlos, Carlos Avendaño. Okay. Present. Good. Did I miss anybody Gracias. else? Alguien que me ha hecho falta? Mm, yo no escuché mi nombre, teacher. Maricela. Maricela Velázquez. Sí, aquí está. Very good. Thank you. Anybody else? Alguien más? All right. So it's time for speaking. We go to part six. Part six. Okay, I need a volunteer to read the instructions, please. Look, look, hit that gray show it how often. There a child bank. Three branches. Branches is a restaurant. The promotion activity during a month. Uh -huh. Then a uh, climates uh, of the age by those promotional promotional activities. Activities. Activity. Uh huh. Uh, right to the job, uh, is your Answers. What? Answers. Answer. Char. Below. Below. Thank you Below. very much. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. So, so what are we doing here? Analizar las gráficas que están ahí y le va a preguntar no. a su compañero o compañera qué tan seguido ellos hacen actividades promocionales. Are the instructions clear, people? People. Are the instructions clear? ¿Están yeah, claras sure. sus instrucciones? Ok, give me a second. Let me make this... Uh, Groups, pair works actually create. And we'll put this person here. Let's do this.
Can you hear me, Rafael? Carlos, Carlos. Can you hear me, Carlos? I'm, I'm having some problems with my earphones. I disconnect. Okay. I send you to room two. But I lost the, the information the that what are, what are we going to do? We're doing exercise six. You are analyzing the graphics in part six. And okay. you have to ask questions how often they do promotional activities. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Good. Okay. Here. All right.
So hello, yeah, teacher. Ahorita, thank you, Juan Ricardo. Okay, teacher. Estamos esperando que regresen los demás. Oh, ya they're, they're here. Okay. Ya se había ido. <laughs> In a second. Yes, everybody's back. Any questions about the graphics, people? No, no question, teacher. Bueno, no te question. Va a media. No te huh? va a media. No te va a media. <laughs> ¿Por qué? Que estábamos haciendo el diálogo cuando. Oh, okay. All right, let's continue. Now we have a conversation. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, ask me, Rafael. He eh, visto que en algunos casos, cuando es gráfico, se, re, se refieren como charts, no como graph. Okay. Sí. Es, es, es similar. Charts son cuadros. Graphics vienen siendo como la gráfica que estuvieron uh, practicando. Ah, ok. Thank you. Digamos, el que está ahí en la parte 3, ese es un chart. That's a chart. Char. Char. Chart. Chart. Right. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So listen to number one. What is, what is, ahí falta el is. What is the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace? Does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? How many hours do you usually work? An estimate. A Eight day. Eight hours. Eight hours? 12 hours. 12 hours. That's Eight a long hours? shift. That's a long shift. Right? So if you work longer hours, uh, they should pay you extra. In theory, they should pay you extra. Yep. Yes. Okay, so ¿cuál es la, what is, vuelvo a repetir, ahí les faltó el is, in number one. What is the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace? How many hours do you work? Do you eight. work eight hours? Raise your hand if you work eight hours. Okay, raise your hand if you work nine hours. Uh huh. If you work more or less. Uh, if raise your hand if you work ten hours. Eleven hours. Twelve hours. Okay, 12 hours is a long shift. Pero los que trabajan 12 horas, me imagino que van eh, cuatro días a la semana, maybe. Or do you go five days a week? Five days in a row. Five days a week and, and Saturday. Oh my God. For Saturday, your receipt, only uh -huh. midday. Four or, or eight. Hours, yes. Okay, but you guys receive extra money, I imagine. No. Yes, sir. <laughs> Over time. It yeah, might overtime. take no. Yeah. The, mo the Monday, uh, a Saturday. From Monday to Saturday. In my case, no, but I I work with this special. Uh, from January to June. Okay, and what happens after June? After June, I work four days by eight hours. And I work the Fridays, the Friday, only four hours in the morning. Good. And you yes. rest Saturday and Sunday. Oh. Good. So the second part of the year is, is better for you, Kay. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, good. good. All, right. All right. 
So let's practice the conversation. We have to get in mute. Mute all. Okay. So listen to me. It says, hey, Matthew, how's it going? Very good, man. I'm relieved that everybody's here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Yes, Juan Ricardo, you have a question? Juan Ricardo Alvarenga? No? no? Okay, sir. all right. Any questions about this uh, small conversation? What is it? Sure, sure. According to church. Uh, oh, schedule. According to the schedule. Ah, schedule. Okay. Yeah, schedule. Yes. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Every day, every day be. Every what, Juan Ricardo? Every day be, day be or day be. Everybody, kita. Everybody? Yeah, everybody, everybody. Yes. Okay, so vamos a trabajar en pareja. You will do exercise one and two, one and two. So tiene que hablar acerca del estimado número de horas que trabaja la gente en su lugar de trabajo. Va a responder si todos tienen un horario específico a seguir. And when you finish those two questions, you practice your pronunciation with exercise two. Are the instructions clear, people? Yes, clear, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Give me yes, a second. teacher. Very good. Yes, teacher. Very good. Recreate. Recreate. Vamos a hablar sobre nuestro lugar de trabajo. Exactly. Y después de hablar sobre su lugar de trabajo, you guys will practice the conversation. Here we go.
We still have several people coming back. Everybody's back. All right. Questions or comments about uh, the last exercise? No questions, no comments? Teacher, uh, in, the, in the case that I work every day uh -huh. eight hours okay in this case now when you say every day is that literal single work a day single working day every single working day right so okay. you work seven days a week see si. okay yeah every single day yes okay thank you all right Anybody else? Any comments? Any questions? No. What is meaning seldom? Seldom? Hardly ever. Almost never. Almost never. ¿Qué digo ahí? Almost never. Casi nunca. Casi nunca. Rara vez. Yes, almost never. All right, so let's. Exercise three is going to be individual work. You have to analyze the information in the chart, part three, so you can answer the questions in part four. ¿De dónde va a sacar la, la respuesta de la parte cuatro? de el cuadro que está en la página 23 en la parte 3. Are the instructions clear? Are the instructions clear, people? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, so teacher. Si tiene que leer el chart en part 3 y ahí está la información to answer the questions uh, on part 4. Let's go. Okay. This is individual work. Haga de caso que usted esté en California, New York, Chicago, y le han dado a analizar esta información. And you have to answer the questions in part four. Go ahead. Thank <laughs> you. 
Menedemo silencio el, el audífono. ¿Mande? Silencio este. Gracias. Yes. Try to keep the mics on silence. Yes, thank you. Teacher, no veo lo de abajo. Ah, lo de abajo, teacher. Ahí está, en la página 24. Yes. Tiene libro, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Ya lo voy a buscar.
No. You, you guys ready or do you need a couple of more minutes? Are you ready or do you need a couple of more minutes? A couple of minutes. Okay, go ahead. All ready. Okay, two more minutes, people. Two more minutes. All right, people, let's do this. Who's in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Mm -hmm. Walter. Walter Omo and Matthew Tule. Yes, Walter Omo and Matthew Tule. Very good. Who's in charge of managing the restaurant? Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. Very good. Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer uh, who's Rodriguez. in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Kevin, 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 Kevin and Karen Kevin. Dooley. Good. Uh, who's in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Jorge Milano. Jorge Milano. Very good. Question five, what does Matthew do? He's in charge of the kitchen if the afternoon shift. Okay, Matthew, let me see. Matthew what does Matthew waiter. do? He's a, a waiter. waiter. He's a waiter. Yes, he's a waiter. What time does he work? What time does he work? What time does Matthew morning, morning shift? What time does he start? Morning shift in the morning. Ten. Ten a.m. Ten a.m. And what time does he finish? Three p.m. Three 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 thirty. Three. Yeah, three thirty. So we can say that he starts at the mid morning and finishes in the mid afternoon. Okay. Questions or comments, people? No? Okay, so this is your time. It says write five questions on your own and ask them to a classmate. Escriba cinco preguntas que usted le puede hacer a cualquiera de sus compañeros. Five questions. What time do you start? When are your days off? How frequent do you go on the do you usually have Saturdays off? Any type of questions that you may uh, want to ask. Five questions. Let's go. And we have to send in the chat or no, only no. write? This is going to be speaking uh, practice. So, primero lo escribe. First, you write it. When you guys are ready, you let me know and I'll put you in pairs. Okay, go ahead.
Teacher, I have a question. Yes, ask me, please. Uh, the questions are going to be using how often or any? No, general questions. Now, if you can include uh, adverse of frequency, that will be great. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I finished teacher. Me too. Okay, one more minute, one more minute, people. No. Pero no vomito. Hombre, que 
la vi de entrar una vez y otra vez. All right, it's time to practice the questions. When you answer the questions, please give complete answers. When you give complete answers, you practice more. Give me a second. Twenty. Recreate. Recreate. Antes de enviarlos al breakout rooms, voy a pasar lista for the second time. Alex Martinez. Alex, Alex. Francisco Godínez. Here. Okay, good, good. Uh, Delmi Gomez. Present. Uh, Kenya Ruiz. Present. Good. Juan Delgado. Present, teacher. William Perez. Present. Susana Jimenez. Present. Okay. Uh, Jose Corea. Jose, Jose, Judy Cuellar, Judy, Present Judy. Teacher. very good, uh, Elsa Merino, Elsa, Noemi Vasquez, Present Teacher, very good, uh, Ruben Campos, Present teacher. Good. Helen Barraza. I'm here, teacher. Moises Rodriguez. Hi, teacher. Maricela Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Marcela de Amaya. Mercedes, teacher. Mar Present. Yeah, Ana Mercedes de Amaya. Yes. Thank you. Andrea Vasquez. I'm here. Good. Carmen Calderón. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Reina Martinez. Reina Reina. Iris Cañas. Present. And Rafael Barrientos. Present. Very good. Let's do the practice with the questions. Sorry. Don't hear my name. Uh, your name again? Oh, Carlos, Carlos Avendaño. Yes, I got you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's do this, people. Practice the questions and give complete answers, too. Join your group, join your group.
on Sunday. Repeat, please, they don't hear. Once a week on Hello, Hello, Miss Teacher. <laughs> you finished already? Yes. Okay, give me a sec. Okay. Gracias a Dios. Ya me ha protegido. Gentlemen. Hello, teacher. How are Hello. you? I'm fine. Why? Good, good. Good. Juan Ricardo, ¿cuántas gente en promedio en tierra diarias? En veces solo una, dos, tres o cuatro. Ok, es variado. Variado. En la pandemia, ¿cuántas? A la pandemia, le digo al compañero que llegaban cinco COVID, seis COVID, siete COVID. ¿Usted estuvo en la Bermeja? Cada hora. De los ilustres, los mandaron de emergencia solo dos días, ahí ha sido. Oh. A ver, aquí abajo tuvimos más, más recargo después que se really? llenó ahí así. Ok. Ok, good. Pero Dios lo protege. Sí, gracias a Dios. A todos nos protege porque hay varios, pero han quedado mal de tanto agua llovida. <ríe> <ríe> ok. Teacher, eh, I yes, sir. Yes, ask me. Con. con... Con la tarea número dos. Ajá. No pude, la llenaba de una forma, de otra y no. Oh, ok. Mándeme exactamente cuál sección, cuál unidad y cuál ejercicio para yo decirle cómo responderla. Ah, ok. Sí, yeah. sí es, es la unidad uno, es. ¿eh? Ok, unidad uno. Si me puede mandar un screenshot y me dice unidad uno, tal ejercicio, I can help no. Okay. Teacher. All right, good. Teacher. Yes, yes, Juan Ricardo. He contestado yo la mayoría, pero también ahí como el compañero me ha salido una, unas preguntas ahí que no entiendo. Yeah, mándeme imágenes, qué unidad está hablando y cuál, y cuál, uh, what exercise uh, you're talking about. Ok, ok. All right. Right. Good. Igual, Lady. Teacher. How are you? Este, estábamos ahí con una palabra que no le entendía a la compañera porque me decía ella vasos y yo no le entendía lentes. Ajá. Pero. Es, es la misma sabía. palabra. I have my glasses. Y si yo estuviera en una cafetería, le digo, please bring me two glasses of water. Significa lentes y también significa vasos. También ah. vidrios. Ya. Ya. Ahí se puede ver que por el contexto. Exactly. El the context. Sería todo. Ajá. Si digamos. Si me tomo un momento. Ajá. Si digamos usted me ve que, que estoy así con el teléfono algo cerca, usted me va a decir, you need glasses. Obviamente, por el contexto, mm. como usted lo dice, me está diciendo, necesita lentes, no necesito vasos. Mm -hmm. ¿No, Raimín? <risa> Okay. Okay. So, así es. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Let's go back to the main session. Uh -huh. ¿Ya pensaron quién va a ser el voluntario de ahora? Yuri. <laughs> Yuri. Are you available, Yuri? Yes, teacher. No problem. Okay, very good. Solo son un par de minutillos. 
Ok. Ok, vamos a esperar a Juan Ricardo, a Rafael, José Corea. Hay varios. <coughs> ok, do you have any questions or comments about today's class? De corazón los felicito por estar haciendo este esfuerzo de dedicar dos horas, en especial dos horas que ya son casi que al final del día. Y pues hay días que tenemos jornadas más pesadas que, que, que otras. Así que thank you very much. We continue tomorrow and uh, everybody goes to sleep except Judy Aracel. Have a good night. Good night, night, good night, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Good morning. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Yes, sir. Eh, yo, yo empecé, parece que el lunes pasado. No sé si así empezaron todos o me incorporaron. Ya ha comenzado el programa. No, to todos Como empezamos de... el mismo fecha, sí. ¿Por ah, qué, okay. Moisés? No, yo pensé que había entrado así como después, pero no, ¿verdad? No, todos empezamos al mismo tiempo. Ya. Yep. Pues. All right. All right. Ok, good. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Judy. Hi. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm very well, teacher. Where do you work? Um, I work in Distribuidora Salvadoreña. Okay, Distribuidora Salvadoreña. And what do they distribute? What, what is the product that they distribute? Uh, Alcohol. Alcohol. Alcohol and uh, the, uh, the products zero azúcar. Okay. Soft drinks? Uh, como saludable. Yes. Okay. Soft drinks. Okay. All right. Good. And, and where's and, the office? Where's the office? Uh, assistant promotion. No sé si esa es la palabra correcta. Special de promoción. Specials. Specials Special assistant. Assistant. Yeah, special assistant. Okay. Right. Thank you. Okay. How many years have you been there, Judy? I have. Ten years. Ten years. Okay. In the company. Okay. And do you go outside San Salvador? Or do you stay no. in San Salvador? Eh, si está en San Salvador la compañía. No, si usted sale de San Salvador. Eh, no. Eh, I... I am in Santa Ana. Oh, oh okay. Okay. I am in Santa Ana. What, what part of Santa Ana? In the University uh, Unicaes. Yes, I know that area. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have any questions about the classes, about the topics we have uh, been discussing? Mm, really, no have a no have a question, teacher. Okay. I I understand. I understand. Good. So so very good. Very good. Very good. And remember, this is a process, and. Uh, Soon you will see better results. You will see good results. Okay. So uh, thank you very much for your time, uh, Judy.
You're welcome, teacher. All right. Thank have a good you night. For your time. Have a good okay. night, teacher. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Take care. See you. Bye bye.